something, well, we have to give the Chinese credit and have respect for them because they, they get it and they, and they battle from what we just heard. Battle Facebook, they, they, they don't care. LinkedIn, what's the other one? Uh, what's, what's the other one? The little bird with the feather. Twitter. Twitter, right. <laughs> <laughs> They battle all of that stuff back and push it back. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Now, we've said something about what's missing, and we're talking about the school system now. I want to get some feedback. How important are these four ingredients right here? History, in the right, from the right perspective, economics, politics, and family responsibility. Four elements right there. Can we tackle that right quick? A absolutely, we can. Uh, we're going to go just, just right down the line. Okay. And first, uh, talk about history, um, and j just put a little spin on that. Um, as we, we've been discussing, um, what we've been taught about history has been from their perspective. Okay. And so um, we want to point out that we want want a healthy history, uh, a healthy knowledge about history, one which comes from our perspective, because if we take it from their perspective, it, it can have um, certain... Uh, negative consequences on our psychology. Go ahead. It, well, it does. It does have a uh, negative consequence mm -hmm. on our psychology. Mm -hmm. Devastating, as Brother Omar just said. And so we need the history um, written, and we need to value the, the history that's that's being given to us by our elders, from our perspective and our realities. Mm -hmm. um, economics. Um, economics. All of these are, are incredibly vital, and they all hold uh, the, the same weight to me. But, but economics, we know that that this this um, country and our our oppression is is rooted in an economic conquest of, of Europeans trying to take over the world and the world's people and the world's resources. So we have to found a, find a way to counter that manifest destiny or whatever you would like to call it, and we do that by networking and aggregating one with another and, and building businesses for us, by us, and supporting biz supporting our own businesses um, and, and helping to develop that bi businesses in our community. Um, third, politics, and we want to move on up that ladder to politics because yes. as uh, Dr. Claude Anderson illustrates, is that is the whole purpose of, of, of building up the economy. What's the point of getting rich if you, you don't know what to do with that with, with, with all that money? That money should be used mm -hmm. to build political power. And political power um, it is just simply um, um, he says you can buy you, 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 you buy a politician. You, you can buy a politician. You, you, you buy <laughs> the people who represent you to do the yes. things that you want them to do for your community. And if they're not doing that, you pull them out and find mm -hmm. somebody that will. Absolutely. Uh, last family. And this is, uh, you know, this is the foundation. This is the, pro this is the primary source. We have to heal our families. And through, um, and through rites of passages and, and other means, things that we've forgotten about, that have been taken away from our culture, we have to dive back in that and find out, you know, what were the families doing? Why were the families successful back then? And now we have uh, um, destruction and, and separation uh, in our families. So we're going to have to go back and find out how they did things, and that's going to lead us right back to history. We have to go back and find out what we were doing right back then and what we can, how we can incorporate that into our, our, our daily lives now. And that will help heal our families and that will help heal our uh, economics and that'll help, have us, that, that'll help us to have a, a positive uh, image on, our, on ourselves and on our history and our past. We have to overcome, that's how we, we, we become glorious. One, one day the history, all the bad things in our history is not gonna matter much because we're going to use all this to help us overcome, and that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. I, did I hear you say, looking at our, at problems through, through the prism of Af an Afrocentric perspective? Um, a absolutely, okay. because um, also um, rites of passage is extremely important. We, we can't we can't um, just cast it out like it's irrelevant. That's something that we're not really conscious about, or a lot of us have lost the understanding or the, the value of, of such ceremonies. And that's something that I believe that we have to dive into and value a whole lot more for the healing of our people. Mm -hmm. In one sentence, can you tell us real quick, what is the Afrocentric perspective? I'm saying Afri as in A-F-R-I, 
as opposed to A F R O. What what is it? Real quick, <coughs> we'll get more into it later on. But when you say that, exactly what you're talking about. Well, um, um, I, I guess I, I wouldn't know the difference between the, 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 the I and the O, but uh, the A F R is the same at the beginning. So I, I'll just mm -hmm. attack it how I, I understand it. Okay. Um, it's just taking the perspective. Um, we, we have what we call values, um, and like you have uh, with, with Eurocentric, Eurocentric, well, we're going to do this in comparison with, with Eurocentricity. Okay, yes. Because um, that's the only way that I know how, how to do it. Uh, Eurocentricity, um, I'm just going to give you a set of values, uh, and we're going to compare a contrast. Um, when we deal with resources and the values that they set on resources, a Eurocentric perspective on how to use resources is you use them until they're used up to where um, you, you waste, you're, you're, you're kind of wasteful. Mm -hmm. And so to point, paint that picture, well, on the Afrocentric perspective, you want to be more conservative and, and um, you use those with knowledge and you use it very uh, wisely as to not to waste. And just to, to paint that uh, illustration, uh, there were uh, millions of buffalo that were roaming in America uh, before the Europeans got here. You see, the natives here used those buffaloes, every piece of the buffalo, but when the Europeans came over here, they totally uh, destroyed them. That's just one example, but we have different value sets, and um, just maybe one value, another value set could be family, how, how you, view, you view the family. Um, family uh, in Eurocentric, uh, what I've observed is a lot of times, you don't really hear about white families having family reunions. I, I used to wonder why. You know, every year you come around in the summer and, and all your black friends and family are, are, are getting ready for family reunion time. But, but whites don't necessarily have family reunion. You have to, 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 to ask why. Well, is it a different values? Well, yes. Well, um, not to say that they don't value their families, their aunts and their uncles, but uh, they're, they're more value of their immediate family. You see, in African perspectives, they have a value of their immediate family and also extended families. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that, that's what we're dealing with when we're, we're talking about uh, Afrocentric and the difference in contrast in Eurocentricity and Afrocentricity. Okay, great point. Talu, would you advocate in the school system for African-American boys, career development, entrepreneurship, and organization building? Well. I have a different perspective okay. on almost everything that's okay. being taught or talked about among our people. Okay. Okay. So my ideas are slant. Um, the school systems are not designed to make us productive. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's for. It's to cookie cut us so we'll all be the same people across the United States of America. Mm -hmm better for corporate America than it's like that. We can go to work for a plant in New York with the same mind that someone would go to work in California with. It's the corporate thing here. Okay, school systems initially were created to truly educate. But since the origin of corporations, school systems are designed to help us be better suited to work for the corporation. Mm -hmm. Lock, stock, and barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, it's the question is, what do we want? Do we, in, 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 in uh, what do we want as it applies to the future? Mm -hmm. Who we are right now, and where, that, that's over. What do we want to be as 45 or 50 or 60 million people in the future? Do we want to be corporate responsive or do we want to be community responsive? We have to answer that question. Okay. Do we want to continue to teach our children to be good in school so they can get a good job, which is corporate, or do we want to teach our children that uh, to be good in school so you can expand the community? We have to make that decision and we've not made that decision. Pardon me. Yes, go ahead. We made that decision for the present and the past. We, our parents uh, of the 60s, the, the 60s, the 70s, and up to now, uh, have been teaching their children 
to get a good education to get a good job. Okay? That's, that's primarily the way black Americans see the world. We don't see the world no different than that. Okay? But the world is vast. It's huge. Okay? There are different educational techniques around the world and different sets of education around the world. But we believe that the Caucasian way of teaching is superior to all other teachers around the world. It's kind of like crazy, you know? <laughs> but but what, we, what we need to do is get away from the public school system being the mother, the father, the teacher, the priest, the lawyer, the doctor, and everything. We're going to have to absorb all of those responsibilities in the family. The family needs to teach. That's the way it was at one time. In, in the past, when we were really doing good as black people in America, education was at home. It wasn't at the school, unless the church set up a school and the people went to, uh, our people went to school uh, at church, okay? But this corporate education has led us astray. Um, now, we are 100% responsible for, uh, uh, when I say we, parents are 100% responsible for the education of their children and for their children' economic stability, 100%. Okay. Okay. We can't, we can't, we can't continue to throw our children into these systems. Just throw them out there and set them home and hope that they come back all right. They're gonna come back all confused, and that's what has happened to us. Lonnie, I want to go to you now. What are your thoughts on the school system in reference to career building, entrepreneurship, organization building? I want to throw an extra one at you, <laughs> physical fitness. So that's four we'd like to hear from you all. Four points. Want me to repeat them or did you get them? Career development, entrepreneurship, as in independence, self-independence, building your own businesses, organization, building organizations, and physical fitness. You've got you've got a little task ahead of you. <laughs> okay. Well, like the brother said, the, the school system is not built for us, so they are lacking in a lot of those areas. Um, why I say that is because, for instance, in organization skills, what are they teaching? What are they teaching our kids as far as organization skills? Um, my experience in school as a black male with predominantly all white women, majority of the times, is you know, and their outlook on us, like I said before, expectation wasn't as high as you know, sadly, and so certain skill sets, you know, it, it just wasn't emphasized and and where was our role models? What 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 role models did we see organiz, organizing in school for for whatever for, for instance, it wasn't nothing specific for our people. So our interest really is not there. So I I see that the school system are failing because, first of all, you know, they, they try to put us all in this one public school and so, you know, put us all in this one pot, like you said, and they try to teach us, they try to teach us how to specifically be laborers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nothing is teaching us to, you know, focus on individual talents and skill sets and allow them to be able to be creative entrepreneurs off their own talent and skills, you know, so they're teaching us, hey, we want you to think this way, we want you to perform this way, and eventually they can predict how much you're going to make uh, your income out of that skill that they have taught you. They're not teaching us to go out there and be competitive so we can, you know, expand and, and, and be more creative, but I feel that, you know, our, our schools are failing us there and like Talu said, the brother, he said that we're gonna have to pretty much we're gonna have to 
get back to ourselves. We're gonna have to leave the whore and, and uh, analogy. We're gonna have to get a step away from from that and focus on our community. Like the, we're the organiz, organizing take place for specific groups or subgroups, and we are not focusing that on our our individual communities, you know, so if we're not organizing, if we can't organize in our own community for us to come together in one accord on whatever issue, then we're failing. So, the, and that's a skill that has to be taught and, and we we are creatures by observing. We're not observing that in, in our race. We don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis. And the ones, not all, but the general, the ones that we are allowed to see through the media, you know, they have a, their own agenda, and I guarantee it's not for us, because it, it takes one one man with that heart that's not going to fold for no matter what his personal gains is, money, or whatever. If that man truly believes in the idea that a die for, that's all it takes. Uh, to, you will see changes, you know, uh, affect uh, the entire community, or but... I just say that, you know, those ideas, we, we talk about them, you know, we, we hear lectures about them, but it's a, the, the way the school system is set up now, like I said, the, the, the main primary teachers or instructors are not in the home, so whatever they're teaching us at school, that, that's, our, that's our end result. So if they're not teaching those type of skills specifically for our people in school to benefit us, then how can we expect anything different? Okay, you, you, you touched on everything but physical fitness. And I ask that question because okay. when I look out across the physical landscape, I see uh, uh, African-Americans rolling around in wheelchairs or walking on crutches or barely walking, period, and appearing to be quite unhealthy. So touch on, if you can take, if you can in one sentence, can I, I briefly, touch on I briefly, physical fitness, the need for it to be taught in the public school system, or in whatever school system. Okay, I, I believe for African -Americans. why it's important for us um, today is because, like I said, what we do every day, subconsciously or consciously, is, is comes from a tradition or whatever. For instance, what we eat, uh, nine times out of 10, our people today eat unhealthy food. And it, and it stems from our conditions back in slavery. You know, mm -hmm. people don't realize that their, their love for pig feet and, and pig uh, guts and ears, <laughs> whatever, any part of the swine comes from, <laughs> comes from what, what the, the master, M-A-S-S-A, -S -S the mm -hmm. oppressor, what, what that master allowed you to eat. That's right. And as we know that swine eat anything. Yes, and scientifically, you know that nothing from the, the swine is, is considered good because the body of the swine has all these toxins and poisons. And here you are loving it, finger licking it good to you, and it's killing you every, every Every, touching it kills you, you know, there's nothing healthy about it. So we we are people that, you know, traditionally we do things without questioning. So your mama cooked chitlins and now you cooking chitlins and don't even know why. Don't even some people don't even know where it comes from. What they come from? But it's still good with that hot sauce though. <laughs> you know, so okay. but you know, so we're not we're not if we if 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 we just took time to understand historically why we do the things that we do, I guarantee we would change those things, okay. you know? So I, I believe that's a key point. Okay. Isaac, do we have a call on the line? Isaac, do we have a call? No call? No. Omar, what role should or can or does in Google Sub the seven principles play in this equation, the growth and development, as it relates to organization. Can you help us with that? You know, yes. You know, this, this world that our children live in was not created by our children. They were created by the parents. 
And I say every day that if you don't have the